Hello everyone, this is Corey Washington with another installment of the Jimi Hendrix Black Legacy Vlog. And this time I want to talk to you about Jimi's influence on one of my favorite genres of music, funk music. A lot of people out there that are supposed to be funketeers, they seem to be sleeping on Jimi when it comes to the funk. I don't know whether this is because they just look at his music as uh, rockabilly or classic rock or uh, psychedelic rock, but how can you talk about the funk and not talk about Jimi Hendrix? Basically, his guitar ushered in a new era of funk guitar. A departure away from the chicken scratch guitar of people like Jimmy Nolan and so forth that used to play with James Brown. Nothing wrong with that style of guitar, but the Jimi Hendrix style of guitar became a fixture in groups like Funkadelic, Parliament Funkadelic with Eddie Hazel, Michael Hampton, Ernie Isley with the revamped Isley Brothers, the 3 plus 3 lineup. All of these 70s groups that featured all of this complex lead guitar, Mandrill, Sun, I mean, you, I, I don't want to leave anybody out, I'm just going to stop right there. But the who's who of music, when it came to 70s funk, all paid tribute to Jimi Hendrix and the band of Gypsies. So it's, it blows my mind to think that somebody could leave Jimi Hendrix out amongst the greats or the originators of funk music. Of course you got James Brown, George Clinton, Sly Stone, Bootsy Collins, and all of these other people, but you gotta throw Jimi Hendrix in there. In my book, Jimi Hendrix Black Legacy, I interviewed two people who are very knowledgeable about the funk. 